What is up guys, it's your boy Rick Kakis, and today we have another weekly reset within Destiny 2, and that means we have another Riven's Wishes quest, but this one has a lot more going on than previous weeks, so let's go over it. The first thing you will need to do is head to the helm and talk to Mara Sov. Then upon collecting this quest, you're immediately going to notice it actually has optional objectives, like you can pick two different ways in which you can actually complete this quest. You can either defeat Taken bosses or mini bosses in the Resvelia section within the Dreaming City. And as you can see when I open up uh, the Dreaming City map, it's that top section right here. Or you can summon and defeat uh, Paruk the Farseer's heir located in that same section within the Dreaming City. So either one will complete this. And if you're partway through killing Taken bosses and you go and do uh, Paruk, then you're just going to get this done immediately. So how does that actually work? Well, when you're in that uh, Resvelia section within the Dreaming City, basically mini bosses means like, you know, high value targets as well as the bosses spawned from public events. Now, importantly, we did actually go to the attached lost sector, uh, the Chamber of Starlight. We killed the boss in there, and that did not count. So it actually does have to be in that public space. Importantly, Every so often, and I say so often, but it's actually pretty darn often, there is going to be enemies moving against each other. And then as you can see, if you participate in those by the end, there is a ton of mini bosses spawning. So really for only like two of those enemy moving against each other events, you'll get enough mini boss kills to get this done. Because even though they're clearly coded as mini bosses and you can see they have the segmented health bars and all that stuff, they're extremely easy to kill. Like one shotgun shot from this lightweight frame almost kills them. So make sure you've got uh, some ad clearing like specials and stuff like that. And also a super that's great for ad clearing as well. You know, I'm using my Berserker Titan and obviously that super can kill a lot of these guys in one activation. So definitely try to make the most of those enemy moving against each other events when they do occur. However, let's talk about the alternate objective. So as you can see right here, there's going to be a Taken Saboteur Minotaur and you'll actually have the uh, text in the corner of your screen saying a saboteur is roaming around the map. He's gonna spawn kind of up here where you see me kill this guy and then he's actually going to drop an object you can pick up. Now, once you have this, you have to jump down from here and then you need to go and charge this object at the far end of the bridge. Make sure you go to the far end because as you can see, there's actually another Another charge location but originally you can't jump like you're gonna be moving extremely slowly until you charge it the first time so you need to charge it uh, at first at this uh, further one because you can actually reach there without jumps now after that unfortunately for my team I kind of forgot where to go and my teammate said oh don't worry I'll look it up but I guess this guy thought he had enough time to finish customizing his waifu pillow or whatever he was doing because he was twiddling his thumbs for long enough that the ball despawned now at this point we thought oh we'll just wait for another saboteur an hour and a half went by and this saboteur never showed up so we eventually just did the enemies move against each other we did it that way but I'll still tell you guys once you do get that ball and once you get it charged on one or both of those uh, different sections then you're gonna head around here to the left and jump on all of these different little kind of islands of our stone and eventually make your way up to this statue. You're gonna present the offering at this statue and then that will spawn uh, this boss in this kind of middle location so you can head down there and take that guy out. So uh, honestly, for most of you guys, it's probably just going to be doing the enemies moving against each other because that happens so much more often than the stupid saboteur guy. Uh, but if you do luck out and get the saboteur, that's how to do it. And once you get that done by either of those different objectives, you're going to head back to Marasov and get your 
Riven's Wish token. Guys, that is going to be it for the video. Hope you enjoyed and found this informative. If you did, please remember to help me out by simply rating and especially sharing this video. If you guys want to see more Destiny 2 content similar to this, don't be afraid to slap that subscribe button. If you want to get in touch with me and keep up to date with the latest channel activity, the best way is to follow me on Twitter at Rick Kakis. That's linked in the description down below. Again, I hope you enjoyed the video and as always, have a good day.